Hello there, my Taurus Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Taurus? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, Taurus. What's going on, Taurus? Whew. What's up, Taurus? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Taurus Collective. Taurus, what's up? What's up, Taurus? Just breathe. Just breathe. Ooh, look at that. You're gaining some insight. You're gaining some insight. Uh, from the work that you do, you're going to get a little intuitive nudge. So, uh, I like that energy. <clears throat> oh, uh, sorry, Torrens. Oh, it's like a little baby, Taurus. What's up? What's up, Taurus? Starting something new? That feels like new energy. Feels like new energy. Oh, Lord have mercy, Taurus. Queen of Swords. Ouch. Okay, so the star card. And the Six of Wands. Taurus, it feels like someone might have been blocking your growth, blocking your um blocking your path, blocking your healing. Uh, between the Queen of Swords and the Star card is the Two of Wands. Yeah, um, preventing you from moving forward, uh, this juggling energy with temperance. Oh, you figured out how to combat it, though. I like that. I like that. I like that. Queen of Swords energy here. This Two of Wands is looking up here. So some of you all have been blocked from going back down a path that you shouldn't. There's healing. You're doing the healing. So we got two, two. But I look at the Temperance card as a two because of them two cups. So two, two, two could be a, a sign that you're seeing. This Queen of Swords energy. This is a positive energy. This is a, yeah, there's definitely some, some, Energy at play here with that moon card. What's above this? Queen of Swords and the Star card. It's a King of Pentacles. So there we go. That's a Taurus represented with the Six of Swords. So we got uh, Six of Swords and the Six of Wands. And above that, we got the Four of Swords. Taking a break. Some of y'all maybe a little vacation somewhere by the water. Maybe taking a cruise. Um... Heavy on the water energy, so make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Or maybe you could have a water sign placement uh, in your chart. The star is Aquarius. Uh, Sagittarius is the temperance energy here. You're finding peace. Because I'm really getting that, that, you know, the three of swords is the, or four of swords is the three of swords of the healing and that ace, that four sword is sort of, sort of that ace of swords energy. So you're comforted with the truth, three of wands, positive outlook, but it comes with the healing. So this feels like you just need to kind of rest, rest and rejuvenate and think happy thoughts, dream happy dreams. Dream a little dream of me. Yeah, uh, Mama Cass. <sighs> you're blocked for some reason, but you're blocked because there's some healing that needs to take place. So that Queen of Swords is actually a positive energy as far as uh, you should be concerned. 
This four of swords and this eight of uh, wands here is the eight of wands. Yeah, trust your dreams, trust your guidance, uh, rest and meditation. Here we got Cancer showing up with this chariot card. Change is coming in, but it really has to do with you kind of centering yourself, getting focused with the Queen of Cups energy. Giving to yourself. Masculines, this is being emotive as well. So whatever, yeah, this almost feels like if you feel the need to fucking cry, cry. Uh, if you feel the need to uh, express yourself, uh, express yourself. Um, my female Taurans, this is you getting into that sort of water sign energy, that that ability to uh, enunciate your feelings, right? You're definitely moving into a, a healed energy. But you still might be fighting it with that uh, two of pentacles, the six of swords and the six of wands. So this this feels like don't try to rush it. OK, uh, I think you're going to have to find the yin to your yang and uh, kind of balance out your energy. For some of you being more emotionally uh, vulnerable or emotive. Um, yeah, if you feel the need to cry, cry, do whatever you need to do to. To kind of find that that balance. Especially if that's opposite of what you would normally do. Uh, Libra here. Bringing in the balance. This is getting your emotions balanced. That's what that justice feels like to me. That emotional balance. Um, you know, you can't be too, too grounded that you're just, you know, unable to feel. And you can't be too emotional that you just feel everything but you're not grounded. Bring in that sort of peaceful balance in through rest, meditation, exercise, drinking plenty of water, uh, eight of wands, uh, the music that you listen to, the things that you surround yourself with, just making it very positive, uh, helping you to emote. Pisces here, the hangman. The Six of Cups and that Ace of Cups. Okay, so there's going to be some sort of flashback of energy. Some of you from your childhood. So this could be about childhood healing as well, right? Going in and focusing on them long-term uh, type wounds or, or things that you're holding on to that you need to heal from. Ace of Cups there with that Ten of Cups. Um... At the King of Wands. <sighs> that, to me, just feels like suppressing your emotions to the point that you're not feeling. So some of you could find yourself in a situation or at a point in time where you just bawl like a little bitch because you haven't grieved something. You know what I mean? This is like you can, if you hurt yourself, you could hold in, you know, the pain for so much long. But damn it, if you got to cry, you got to let it out. Right. So this is quit holding on to the pain and get that release that you need. You know, crying actually does physically make a difference. Uh, you know, <laughs> it actually does make a difference. There's a chemical switch up. Uh, so for some of you, if you got to let the tears fall. Let them fucking fall. Right. But it feels like childhood uh, healing. You could have things coming back from your childhood that are that could uh, bring up some negative memories, and you gotta you gotta release from it. For some of you, crying is gonna be the best way to do it. Uh, it feels like that getting in touch, getting in touch with your emotions. You can be overly grounded where you're not emotional. You need to sort of have that that nice mix you get with this temperance energy. One foot in the water, one foot on the ground, right? If some of you are working on some childhood healing or or looking back and trying to do inner work on yourself, you could find that the tears want to come up. And, uh, you know, just let them flow. They ain't got to make sense. Just let them flow. Uh, you'll feel better. And that'll get you to this sort of King of Cups energy. Get you more emotionally grounded. Look at this. King of Wands, the King of Cups, and we got the King of Swords right here. Plus, we have the King of Pentacles. So, for a lot of you, this is part of that upgrade into that Emperor Empress energy. Because the Emperor and the Empress encompass all four of the kings or queens. Okay? So, we got all four of them. 
But that is that sort of that offer of um, finding that sort of peace and balance, allowing yourself that sort of peace and balance. There's the inner work, right? This is healing the broken heart. There's the Empress. Seven of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, this could be dealing with the loss of a, a feminine in your life. A grandma, a mom, a sister, something like that. Especially if you had some unresolved emotions. Right? This is that sort of dark side energy. When them emotions get kind of called up. And they show up. Because you're doing the inner work. But that's how you upgraded your energy. Getting control over uh, all four of your emotions. And that's the payout in the end, is you're not afraid of love. You learn to love yourself. That's that sort of, that's that gift from God that comes. Uh, you kind of put down your guard and you're able to love yourself. Be kind of free in your energy. Um, this is getting into that yin and yang uh, type situation. You know, you're not too grounded and stubborn that you're not emotional, but you're not so overly emotional that you're not grounded. It is that, that sort of fitty fitty mix that you got to find. This does feel like childhood healing, childhood wounds. Um, deep, uh, reflective energy. Looking at your emotions, studying your emotions. And there could be that moment of revelation that, ouch, you know. It could come on you pretty fucking quick. Two of Cups there, some of you could be uh, working, uh, getting some uh, help, some therapy, right? Someone helping you, taking notes, uh, giving you notes, different things you can do to help. Definitely could be dealing with past, past energy, because look at that. The Death card, that Knight of Cups, healing energy. <sighs> Uh, masquerade energy, because uh, hearing that masquerade paper faces on parade, masquerade, hide your face and the world will never find you. Ooh, Scorpio energy there. But you know what? Uh, we ended on the sun card revelation. That's getting that that sort of breakthrough energy. Those of you that's working, if you're working in a therapeutic type session, breakthrough energy, uh, seeing things, people, places, and things for what they are, how they represent in your life, how they've affected your life. This feels like a very uh, healed energy or someone working on finding that healing, that sort of perfect balance between the yin and the yang. It is an upgrade in the energy because we got all four kings represented here. Now, feminines, this could definitely be you in that energy, right? If you've been holding off and there's things emotionally you need to focus on. But once you encompass all four kings or queens, then you're able to move up into that emperor-empress status, right? Ooh, Torrance, I like this energy. So, you know, it really feels like just allow the motions to flow through you. You know what I mean? Uh, if you feel the need to fucking cry, cry, right? You know what? Um, you can cry. Not everyone has to see your ass cry. Just uh, let the emotions flow through, especially if you're doing the healing. Because um, you got to be able to be grounded. I think this is kind of your focus at the end of the day. You're emotionally balanced and you're grounded at the same time. But, you know, for a while, one could overdominate the other until you find that sort of sweet spot. Because, you know, there's some healing that needs to take place still. So, focus on that. It does feel like it, you know, if the tears need to fall, let them fall as you're doing the work. Because um, that actually does help science around it. It releases chemicals in the brain and helps you get that sort of uh, release and you feel that release. So, uh, keep up the work. Keep up the work. 
You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ling a ling. It does feel like work. Uh, Dig it into the past, work it on your shadow side. And there could be some things that come up that maybe going to hit you pretty hard and you're going to have to just release them and move on from them. Uh, it does feel like someone could be working with uh, someone to get that sort of uh, work accomplished. So keep it up. Keep it up. Peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light, Taurus.